Oh my goodness, Nigeria, please save me from Tokbe. Please. You are stuck with me. I was going to say for life, but no, not for life. No, I can't do <laughs> In that. In any much. case, we've got our last chat up now, and uh, we happen to have been joined by the one, the only. I Ooh. hype everybody. SODK! <laughs> Actor, rapper, OAP, you name it. He's all of them, isn't he? Yes, Full and he is also a lawyer. Oh, yes. yes. How could I yeah. forget to yes. say that? I forget sometimes. <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I know, right? I forget sometimes. How are you doing, SO? I'm fantastic. Thank you guys for having me. Hey, Appreciate it. So welcome, modest. Man. Last time I saw you, the beard wasn't that big. Yes. It's a huge yes. Yeah, right I, Actually, I, I cut it two days ago. So oh, it's, so it was it, bigger. Does it have to do with Lagos girls and their attention? You know, Lagos girls kind of like have a thing, like priorities like when they're checking out a guy. Oh, tell me. Beard where does the beard rank? What does it rank? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Is it beard because of, you know? I don't know. Manzino has no beard. I'm sure uh, he does quite well. Listen, hey, <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> the married man vibes. I know, you I know, get it. I know. In any case, man, let's talk about you, your music, your acting and mm -hmm. everything. First of all, I did not know uh, that you uh, started doing music from when you were 10. I learned yeah. about that yesterday when I was doing a bit of research about yeah. it. And I was like, wow, for real. Yeah. So, uh, as in, it's, it's, it's very, it's a full circle. Mm -hmm. Being an actor and OAP yeah. on TV, of course, yeah. uh, I remember. And, uh, I mean, it just puts you inside of entertainment as I can do everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, how's that for you? How's that going for you, the music bit? To be honest, like, um, I feel like in the Nigerian entertainment sphere that you have to kind of like pick one mm. to be like your main focus you know okay. the others can come as like maybe side deals and things like that but yeah. i feel like you have to pick one mm -hmm. because people do not I, like in nigeria i know that people do not like um so-called master of all trades. Oh, yeah. they don't like it they like to be able to pin you here mm -hmm. talk about you know a lot about that as well you yeah. like to be able to pin you here or say you are this you are that which is why when people try to transition from this to that mm -hmm. people are not accepting even if you are good, good. Mm -hmm. you jamie I mean? fox did a good job nigeria. nigeria no in america is uh, no in america yeah. you could do whatever you want mm -hmm. you know there's will smith jamie fox there's a lot of them who are doing like uh music uh, and, music and uh, film mm -hmm. jamie fox is an oscar winner and a grammy winner mm -hmm. you know things like that so but in nigeria they like to say okay this is this guy he's an mm -hmm. actor mm -hmm. this is this guy he does Music. Do you remember all the old Nollywood stars who tried to transition into music? <laughs> Although, in all fairness, they were, no, no, I didn't call anybody. Wrong. I just said it. Yeah, I just said. Yeah, it. but in all fairness, many of them weren't that weren't good. Not even that good. In all fairness, many of them weren't good. But nobody even let them transition. Like yeah, no, like yo, come stop. Back. Mm -mm. Come right back. You get what come I mean? Right exactly. So yeah, I want to talk about you as a lawyer mm. now because you started music as early as ten. Yeah. So where did law coming for you? Was it because of your parents or were you passionate about that? Um, to be honest, my parents didn't force me to do a lot. Right. Mm, okay. My parents are the most understanding people, apart from you know one or two. They were, they, they were teachers, weren't they? Yeah, they are teachers. They are still yeah, they still are teaching right now. Well, talking about the music, I've always wanted to do music, always wanted to do the arts as long as I can remember. But okay. law, mm -hmm. when it came, I, wanted, I did a bit of theatre first okay. before I got into law. It was just a thing of having like a good professional degree. And I liked law because till today I still like to argue. Mm -hmm. And my sister <laughs> yeah. is a lawyer. Okay. So, you know, she's my other sister. So that was a thing. I liked law. So it wasn't like I was forced to do law. Actually, mm -hmm. it was a choice. It was like a guided choice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like I did the law, went to law school, got yeah. called to buy everything. Yeah. Since you mentioned your sister, let's talk about your brother, who is your best friend, I hear. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't put that together with the fact that you wanted to kill yourself at one time because yeah. he was born. Like that, now, now you're small between doing this video because my brother when now is a a lot of years not a lot but you know uh -huh. a, a good number of years yes, between us so i had attention for a while so uh -huh. when my brother was born you know i don't know how, how it was but you guys going if you had younger uh -huh. i don't talk about doesn't have young i was the last so i didn't yeah, have that exactly problem. so <laughs> yeah so when they gave birth to my brother the attention switched from me to my brother do you get what i mean so yeah. it was I didn't take it well. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I then thought everybody hated me, that sort of thing. Oh, no. And you know, those, when you're a kid and you're just trying to prove a point. Uh -huh. And I remember there was this, like, I think it was a blue scarf thing <laughs> in my house at no. the time. And then I put it, the window was like this high. I put it, I tied it on the window because I think I went to a movie where somebody hung themselves or something like that. Uh -huh. And then I went to put it and put it on my neck, like, oh, no, no, no. And nobody paid me any attention. And then when I did, I said, oh, this thing is tight. And then I, took, <laughs> That's I, took it, I took it off and that was that for death. Death hurts. No, no, no. Man. It wasn't anything serious. Like, I just put it like, oh, no, no, no. I can't and then believe like, it. Oh, this is a bit tighter than I think. Expected. And I took it. 
<laughs> this, this all and happened. That was, and I think I went to eat or something. That was that for that. It wasn't <laughs> anything serious. Like, oh, I wanted to know. Nah. It was just okay. small weekend dance. Okay, good yeah. stuff. I want to talk about your uh, your career as an actor. I've seen you evolve through quite a number of characters. Yeah. Now, how is it for you, first off, being um, referred to somewhat as the um, Mawili Gavo twin or a Mawili Gavo substitute? How does mm. that make you feel? Uh... To be honest, like now, yeah, now you know, now, now you know, Maoli still keeps when I used to keep, remember when I used yeah, to keep, keep just the, yeah. the goods here now mm -hmm. because it's, it's becoming low budget. Maoli, Maoli. Mm -hmm. I, did, I didn't want to say that, <laughs> it was no, 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 it's all fun and games, it's all fun and games because, um, you know, Maoli, uh, has was in the industry before me, you know, took off before me, everything so. It wasn't a big deal because me and Maoli are friends as well. And okay. I've actually, one time we went for something and I actually mistook his picture for mine. Oh. Picture. A lot of people have come up to me like, oh, Maoli. And Maoli told me, he tells me all the time that people actually meet him. Like he's tired of it as well at the time when we had the thing. Like, yeah. oh, are you that guy who presents or are you that guy who's been in this and that? So it wasn't a thing. But it was all fun and games, but not anymore because yeah. now... I saw Bright. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I have one more. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask this because I've been Please. meaning to ask. Have you oh. ever been mistaken for Toby Backer? Uh, uh, people have told me that I look like Toby, <laughs> but Toby is a bit shorter than me. Oh, wow. So it's not... Um, well, yeah, yeah, people have told me that I look like Toby, and Toby says that people have told him I look like him as well. Okay, so it so, wasn't just me then? No, it's not just okay. you, it's not just you. But so, now, like I said, with, with the beard, yeah, mm -hmm. like the beard and the, you know, I used to cut my hair really yeah. low, cut all my beards, but now with the hair and the beard and, you know, Standing things up. like that. So I want to talk about, so most recently we've had your Riona, mm -hmm. we've had Ponzi, we've mm -hmm. had... Um, Recordy, yeah, and I, um, I think last week you did share a post on um, social media on you being on a set that kind of like had like a military yes, vibe. Yes, yes. Now, what's yes. your preparation process? Because you kind of like transition through very different characters in yeah. the last few months. How has your trans your preparation process been? Like? It depends. Doc. Well, you know that Nollywood, they don't give us too much time to prepare, so <laughs> we just have to do the best we can. Yeah. But my process is for something like Riona now. Before mm -hmm. we started shooting Riona, you know, we got the call like a couple of weeks prior. Mm -hmm. I watched a few medieval themed movies. You know, uh -huh. I went back and watched 300. I watched, um, what's the name of that one? Vikings. Oh, yeah. Things like that to just like put, you know, it's not the same accent or everything, but it puts yes. you in a head space. Mm -hmm. And, you know, do a bit of research about the Shakiri people. I'm from Delta State, so yeah. that helped. Mm -hmm. Things like that. So I went like on, um, for this military role that I yeah. played uh, last week, mm -hmm. I watched Idris Elba in um, Beast of No Nation because I had to have an accent, I had to do a lot of things. So it just depends, watching people who played like similar roles because there's not a lot of time to prepare. True. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So as you get it, mm -hmm. you just do what you can. You watch movies, you do a bit of research, you mm -hmm. put yourself in a mind frame where you can play a particular character which is so much different from the last thing you played. Because prior to that military role, I just finished playing a lover boy on a different set. Yeah. Imagine the mean. transition. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you also preparing for the big screen internationally? Ooh. Of course. <laughs> it's a dream for anybody. Who, I mean, if you act or if you do anything and your mind frame is that, you know what, let me just keep it here. I don't think you're dreaming big enough. So obviously, I'm preparing and I know that once I get that chance, I'm going to take it. So uh, which would it be? Would you want to play uh, someone with a foreign accent, an African accent or a Wakandan accent? What, what is a Wakandan accent? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> Wakandan accent? I feel like you walked into that one, by the way. I know, I know. You just, you just laid the trap and I walked into it. But uh, I feel like people who play, I think that in Hollywood or in the international space, there is a one accent for Africa. Africa, Africa and it's Wakanda. Yeah. And I feel, yeah, and I feel like it's actually Like we need to irritating. go there and give them the It's accent. quite irritating because we do not sound like... Uh, Nowhere, no country we, we in not, Africa has got that accent. accent. You get what I mean? Like not even East that Africa. We that it is Africa. We don't sound like that, to be honest. Like, uh, well, we've, uh, we've accepted it, but mm -hmm. just, the way we're talking, is that how we're talking? Are we no, talking like we, no, we, we are not talking We are like in a that. place where we can do a lot of things. No, 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 that's not how we speak. I want to quickly ask you something. Yeah. What was what has been or what was your worst set experience in the sense of at what point were you on set? What set experience have you had that you felt um, unappreciated as an actor? Whoa. And then it's more like and then you had this this feeling of I go make up. Whoa. Yeah. Talk, but I don't want to say anything about. I was discussing the backstage. There's an experience I had with uh, 
Uh, not okay. He's a veteran Hollywood director. Do you oh, get what okay. I mean? Let me not put that in quote because he actually is a veteran Hollywood director. Okay. And he got me for a job. I went to do the auditions, right? Mm -hmm. And at the audition, like the audition was so good that they were clapping for me. Do you get what I mean? Because <laughs> okay. I prepped, I legit prepped because they sent me aside. Okay. They, they were clapping. So I got the role. They called me and obviously got to the point where like you know what we put this person on, we put this person on. So after this job, it will give you maximum exposure. Blah 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 blah. blah. And I'm like, you know what? Bet, uh, big Nollywood director, I do it for you for free. Don't even give me transport. I'll come mm -hmm. through. I ah. do it for you for free. That was a while ago. Anyway. Okay. I do it for free. No yes. doubt. So they give me a call time, a very early call time, which was um, 6 a.m. And I got up, found my, I took myself to the far location. Mm -hmm. It was a hotel. And then I get to the hotel. I see a lot of people outside, cast people. So... I'm waiting for us to shoot. You know, there was, they didn't give us food. I started shooting, but I'm waiting for my scenes. Just waiting outside, randomly. No food, nothing. So, I didn't start shooting up until 12 a.m. Like the next day? Like the next day. I got oh, there at 6. I didn't start shooting up until 12 a.m. I had been fed only once on to beg. I beg me now, feed me now. I had gone outside to buy corn. I remember vividly. I feed, and then we, sh then we left the hotel, we were shooting like a bush scene. Yeah. Went, to, like, went to the bush, I shot one scene that day. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be like a one day shoot. I mm -hmm. shot one scene, I'm like, okay, you know what, we're, shoot, we're about to wrap for today. Um, come back tomorrow, I'm like, huh? Tomorrow? Okay, this is past two. Where do we sleep? Nobody answered anybody. Whoa. Left us outside. Yeah. You get what I mean? Left us outside. No food, no. So people were sleeping on the floor. I mean, people like, and me, I'm just looking at my me. I'm sitting on me. I didn't, I didn't sleep. I'm just sitting on my chair, thinking like, what in the world is this? Oh like, regardless God. of, I don't care if I'm the most illiterate or I don't care what kind of world I come from. Yeah. Nobody deserves no this sort of treatment. No, no matter who you are. Do you get what I mean? I came at six. That's crazy. Started shooting at twelve. Disrespect and in between the takes. A lot of people, and you know, the guy was blasting, you know, oh, you knew Nollywood people. Mm. You able to, and I feel like, why do people feel like suffering is the way to, what to go? It's, it's a very it's crazy, crazy story, but let's finish, let's, let's finish that inside In the of the kitchen, yeah. because we've got food for you here. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. Oh, okay. I'm not you up this early, we cook oh, for you. Yeah, we get <laughs> yeah, we get Appreciate it. Oh, yes. Appreciate it. Please Appreciate it. this way.